If you're a good logical thinker, Java's a great place to start. Um, I've, I've, I've used lots of other languages and compared with Java, I generally find other languages to be a little bit kludgy. Well, something that works here doesn't necessarily work there, right? On the other hand, Java is so well thought out, you know, it's just, it, it's, what was it, a, a colleague of mine said, going from another language to Java feels like finally getting a comfortable pair of shoes. It's, it's, it's a nice language. Now, now, given that, right, takes a person with, you know, you gotta be able to think step by step. Hey, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do that. I'm going to put together a procedure of steps. Uh, but I think anybody who can do that, and I can help people learn, um, can program in Java. Java 7, first of all, performance-wise, it's better than Java 6. But in terms of features, actually what you can do in the language, there are some very, very nice convenience features. You can use strings and switches. You can, all kinds of little technical details. Nothing that's easy to say, wow, this is going to make programmers' lives 100% easier. I think the biggest boost for the Java-using professional is the performance increases. The Java for Dummies book is about Java. The beginning programming for Dummies book is about programming that happens to be in Java. The Java for Dummies itself is a little bit more advanced, but not so much that a beginner can't pick it up and learn. Um, I like to think that it's somebody who's got an idea that they want to program in Java and wants a very, very comfortable introduction to the subject. Either way, it's good stuff.